the BBC, my favourite broadcasting corporation, smothered in the mark of the beast. Oh dear, for shame, BBC. The Beelzebub Broadcasting Corporation, as I like to call them, who first started broadcasting at Alexandra Palace in North London. And if you've watched our series, Nibiru Palace, you will know that Alexandra Palace is the most satanic building ever built in the entire world, depicting UFOs, Satan, Nephilim. It's absolutely incredible. Now back to the BBC for today. So what's the BBC news for today? Well, my BBC news for today is a story concerning an artist by the name of uh, Damien Hurst. If you type into Google um, BBC News, Golden Calf, you'll find this channel uh, on about the third one down. And uh, if I just scroll it here, there's the story about Damien Hurst and his Golden Calf. I'll just make that bigger for you so you can see what it is that I'm pointing out here. Well, there's Mr. Damien Hurst proudly showing off his golden calf. Yes, um, allegedly he sold it for £9 million today. Well, bully for him, eh? £9 million for this astounding work of art, which came completely out of his own mind. Well, you know, this is my opinion in this video. You don't have to pay any attention to me whatsoever. Remember, it's a gorilla talking. Anyway, take a look at this golden calf. And remember, what did the Bible tell us about a golden calf? which was a, a, an icon of satanic worship and brought God's wrath down. It's a golden calf, wasn't it? Okay, now, where's the Nibiru link and the UFO link and the tear link? Well, here it is. It's a disc on top of the bull's head. And what's on top of the disc? Horns. So it's a horned disc. A horned disc. If we compare this directly, um, with the winged disc, the horn disc at Alexandra Palace, this is what you see. As you can see, it's the winged disc, the horn disc, which is the mark of the beast. So I'm wondering, did Mr. Damien Hurst make this sculpture with the mark of the beast, but completely by accident? Or could he possibly be a Freemason or a tear? Well, considering these symbols are all Masonic symbols, it's more than likely that he's just outed himself as a Freemason. And the BBC are always doing this because there are so many stories every single day where they flaunt this symbol in front of you, but you don't realise how it's broken up. For instance, here, it's using a bull, but, you know, it's a calf. It's a golden calf. Like the Bible. And on this golden calf's head is the wing disc, the horn disc, which is the mark of the beast, satanic worship. Well, BBC have shot themselves in the foot again today as far as I'm concerned. You've seen our little flying saucer um, uh, video, have you? Where the BBC news starts with a little flying saucer actually flying into the earth. And the earth is red, as if there's red light going on it. Like the Bible says, the sun shall turn to sackcloth and the moon shall turn to blood. And of course that reflection will reflect on the earth and you'd get a red earth. And if there were any flying saucers, well, you'd see them come down just like the beginning of the news on the BBC. And if there were any aliens on this planet, well, you'd see the mark of the beast everywhere, wouldn't you? Which is the horn disc, the wing disc, the UFO, the flying saucer. And you'd see their children, the tares and the traitors of mankind flaunting it in your face, in the media. It's just my personal opinion, but I personally believe that we should all boycott the media and buy nothing from them, because if that's the mark of the beast, which I say, in my opinion, it is, you're paying the whore of Babylon.